Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man in secret of attention, Chris here, here with a review of Action Comics number 1000, the big landmark number 1000 celebrating 80 years of Superman. And it was great. <laughs> it was, I really enjoyed this. I, I took my time reading this and it was quite a long read. So, kind of a... a uh, perspective of um so every Thursday morning I go to my comic book store right as it opens opens at 9 a.m. so I leave my house 7 30 to get there just before 9 a.m. so I can get in and get my comics op uh, when they open and then when I then it takes me about 30 minutes to get back home from uh, get to a train station from there like to get back home to a train station to catch a bus and it's a 30 minute train ride and I use that time to read comics and to prepare for some of my reviews usually uh, with how much I get I get I get nine tenth nine tenth of like what I get I finish reading in that 30 minutes uh, with action comics, <laughs> I took my time. So this took me about this took me fifteen minutes to read. Like if this was a standard action, this if this was a standard action comics issue, it would take considerably less. Because I just wanted to enjoy each each different story. So seven ninety nine for this, or twelve fifty. This is twelve fifty Australian to buy this, and. <laughs> This isn't the only one I bought. I bought all the covers. Let's see. Here. I'll show you. We'll take a little de detour from the review and ignore the messy floors. So I bought all 10 issues. I So the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and a blank version. The blank ver uh, I wasn't going to get a blank version anyway, but it is, I decided... Like one day, I would want the writers to autograph, uh, like to autograph Action Comics number one thousand, and like I could do it with these, but the blank one works so well. I can get them to autograph it, or I can get them to draw something on it. So yes, so twelve fifty each for all of these. That's a hundred and twenty. That's about a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yes, I spent a lot. <laughs> to get these and it was worth it so we'll go back to the review okie dokie so we go back and in this it's done we have several stories by different right uh, creative teams so we have from the city that has everything never ending battle enemy an enemy within the car the fifth season of tomorrow five minutes action land Faster than a speeding bullet and the truth. And like I gotta say, there wasn't really any like disappointing stories in this. I quite I really enjoyed like the all this the the main theme of this is just Superman, his personality, what he means. Kind of like what he most of them show like what he means to everyone in the DC universe. Like this first story by um by Dan Jurgens, uh, from uh, from the city that has everything. It it's essentially he he there's a uh, thank you Superman kind of like event, uh, and Clark doesn't want to be there because there is a, at the same time there's an alien invasion, but every, everyone else is kind of pressing him to go there, and he finally decides. He re he realized he's kind of he's been tricked that Lois isn't talking to Perry White because Perry White is actually the last person on stage to talk about Superman. And that's something I like. They have um they have several different speakers talking about how what Superman meant to them and like how they met him and that he saved them from various different um disasters and they even have a uh, one of them is an ex-criminal that Superman kept on busting, and then he decided, like, I'm going to help you turn your life around. This isn't the sort of life you should have. Like, 
I, I don't want to, this, this is, this is something I don't want to do. I don't want to keep like catching you and put, throwing you in jail, which was like a nice touch to add, but it shows he goes off, but what he doesn't realize is he's not alone. Everyone's there to support him. Like while this invasion was going, while he was there, like patiently just trying to watch everything so he could just have an excuse to go and stop an invasion. Like all the heroes were helping him out because it's an important day, not just for Superman, but for everyone. And I quite, in, I quite enjoyed the message of this story that he's never, is that he's, he's, he know he doesn't realize how important he is to everyone. I think that's what the, I got for the message of this story. And really enjoyed it. He just realizes that he, he can always depend on everyone. And then, uh, then the next story we have is like, uh, invo involving Vandal Savage putting him through hyper time. So he's going, he's essentially going through like the real life history of Superman. So you have like, all the different versions of his, of his outfits throughout the years, um, several moments. And they're including like uh, the return of Superman and the Kingdom Co Kingdom Come as well, and like the the whole point of this is him kind of um like acknowledging, respecting his past because Vandal Savage is like, oh, I'm gonna trap you throughout your own. I'm going to trap you throughout hyper time in history and it's going to, it's going to kill you. And it's like, no, no, it teaches us. Like it informs us. It teaches us. And most of all, it strengthens our, us. The past is very important to Superman. It's not something he will forget. And so that was, yeah, that was never ending battle by Peter J. Tomasi. Then the next story, the enemy within, it's just a, It's just a little short little story. It's like it's not really about Superman. It's about it's about the people of Metropolis and how much he admires them. That was a nice little story as well. And we have the car, which it's a very like it's a callback to Action Comics number one because this is about the the most famous Superman cover, the most famous Action Comics cover of him lifting the car up. So he's actually talking to the person, like, to the owner of the car, Butch, the, I think it was, his name's Butch, and he's, he's pretty much giving him an ultimatum, he's like, T like, like, you, you, you're obviously, you're a bad person, but because, it's because of your upbringing, like, and I'm going to give you, you have the chance to change it around, will you do it, and eventually, yes, he does, and... Then, then the next, next little story we have, it's kind of, like, it's kind of a short, a short, um, kind of a short, uh, kind of like this, the beginning of like, oh, can that, can those birds shut up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, just a little short story about Superman and like, so I did like that as well. Like, I do like more, most of the other ones, but like I said, there wasn't really anything I found bad or disappointing. And then... This one about he, um... Like, the last, the last days of Earth. Last days of Earth where Earth finally gets consumed by the sun and Superman's there and he's just... He's reminiscing about... This is his home. Krypton may have been his his the planet he was born on, but Earth will always be his home. And he's he's reminiscing of the last of its last days, of all the good moments and memories from it. Uh, just how we have, we have just another Superman, like it, just like a day in the life of Superman. It's like geez, it's real tough. We have a, a Mixelplik story. Kind of is like here's the history of Superman, and then I'm his worst enemy. <laughs> I'm his arch nemesis. Don't you know? If, 
forget about Lex and Doomsday and Zod and all that. It's, you know, just Mixelplug being obsessed with Superman as usual. Um, another kind of like Superman admiring like humanity, like the goodness within humanity. And interesting enough, this story was for Christopher Reeve. I thought that was pretty interesting as well. And we go to the last one, the truth, the one, Brian Mac the beginning of Brian Michael Bendis's stories. Now, I, w I was with everyone where a bit worried about how Bendis is going to handle it, how to handle Superman, uh, given he hasn't had a good track re record recently with Marvel. Um... I will say, I'm interested to see how it goes. Like, it didn't really have a lot of the kind of bendis Marvel bendis like, stuff. Like, if this was, like, if this was written by, if this was written by Marvel, and they had Bendis on it, they would have had Supergirl just be the hero of this story. But no, she's just quickly knocked out, and then... But it, this is just a introduction to the Man of Steel miniseries that Bendis will do before his Superman in Action Comics runs begins. So, yeah. That's it. Great issue. Great celebration of Superman. See, DC does... See, DC does it well when they want to celebrate an iconic character. Like... Or, or usually just... I mean, just character in general, they do it well to ce to celebrate it. I mean, you go, you look at over at Marvel that uh, uh, July will have uh, things like the fiftieth anniversary of Carol Danvers. So, what are they going to do? They re they've relaunched another series, and it's going to be a retelling of her origin. Yeah, that's pff, that's yeah, definitely celebrated well. Well, this this has this touches on several of his origins and just other stories. It was really good. I really really enjoyed this. I am hoping ben, the future of Superman is in good hands with Bendis. I hope DC knows what they're doing. Uh, but like I said, the truth, Bendis' story in this, not bad. It's not bad. I'm, although it's just a small fraction, it's just, I'm hoping it's as good <laughs> later on. But that's it for the review. Happy birthday, Superman. 80 years. Jesus Christ, you don't look old. <laughs> I wish I could look that as that good as uh, when, I'm, when I turn 80. But that's it for this review. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time.